Hello, this is Carl's Mustang, and today we're on Grand Tours of 7. I did a hell of a lot of grinding, but I have enough money to afford a couple, quite a bit of cars, too. I'm not going to review the Chiron, because that's three million, that's three million dollars. I'm not getting that. But, and I'm not getting the Ferrari, but I'll pro I'll, I'll do a review on the Corvette C8 most definitely. And I'm going to do a review on the Alfa Romeo, the Alfa Romeo Giulia uh, GTAM. I've been waiting for the Corvette C8 to come to a game like this. Like, I've played it on the Crew 2. I've played it on basically every, almost every other game. Because I don't have Project Cars or Forza Horizon 4 or 5, but... Time to test it out in a sim. And I see you guys out on the track. Here, because normally I just run a hot lap. And at the end, I tell y'all what I think about the car. And, of course, I have Sports Soft on it. That's one of the things I went ahead and put on. And I didn't put no performance parts on it or anything. And, as usual, I'll go quiet and I'll tell you what I think about the car at the end of the run.
thoughts. As you can see, I made two. I made one four. I made one fifty-five, and no copyright. But uh, I don't know the car. One thing I would recommend is racing brakes because it feels a little light in the front. Like ballast weights, I know could fix that, but it feels a little light in the front. And it feels odd like cornering. I don't know if that's because it feels light in the front or what, but it just feels odd like cornering. I mean, it's fast. As you saw, I mean, it's fast. It handles well once you get the hang of it. Like, as you saw in the second lap, I got a hang of it. But altogether, it's kind of an odd car. I mean, I love it. But it's going to be interesting to see what I could do by tweaking this thing. I recommend buying it, though. I mean, I'm... I mean, I recommend buying it. I enjoy it. I mean, anybody else that's been waiting for this car to pop up in a, in a sim racing game, go ahead and take a shot with it. It's a pretty fun car to drive once you get used to it. I have nothing wrong with it. It's a 100% buy in my scenario. And that's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.